Okay, enough of this. Who are you and how are you doing this? Wait, you're not scared? I might be if you were a little more subtle, but this is just stupid. What is? For, first of all, you're wearing a hat. I'm not. Sorry, I was told to wear something to differentiate myself from the original. Told by whom? My book. Elaborating would help. I wish I could. I don't know anything. I woke up one day in this dark world surrounded by mirrors. I found this book which instructed me what to do. I don't remember anything before that. So you are real. You're not just in my imagination. Oh, I'm real. What's your name? Is there something wrong? I don't have a name. I may have had a name before, but I don't remember. I'm nobody. Why don't you just make up a name? Because I don't have a face to go with it. All I can do is look like my assignment, which is currently you. So what else can you do besides appear in my bathroom mirror? Not just your bathroom mirror. I can appear in any mirror, no matter how small. I can also switch places with you. Okay, that was weird. You said something about an assignment. What is it? First, allow me to introduce myself. I'm your evil twin. My what? Your other half, a being created out of pure darkness, sent into your life to wreak unimaginable havoc and destruction. That sounded good. I don't understand why I should have an evil twin. And I don't know why you were chosen. It's not my job. I would expect someone who has mental problems to have an evil twin, but I am nothing like that. I don't have any issues. I had a normal childhood. In fact, I live a very uneventful life. Look, all I know is I touched a mirror, it shimmered, and now I'm here talking to you. Do you even know how to be evil? You really don't seem like too bad of a guy. Thanks, but I really want to follow my book. It's the only thing I have that I can call my own. But you still have a choice. You could just leave. No, I'm too excited. I want to see what your life is like. Enjoy my world. I'm taking control. Hello. Who are you? Jack. It's me. Your girlfriend. Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Hi, Jack. Oh, no, I'm not Jack. Okay, then who are you? I don't really know. I don't have a name. I guess I'm no one. Well, you have to be someone. What do you mean? Well, you're standing right in front of me. And I can touch you, so you do exist, so you have to be someone. That's probably true. But I still haven't found out exactly who I am. Who has? Nobody knows who they really are. Besides, it's not your name that makes your identity, it's what you do. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, mm -hmm. Rachel. That made me feel a lot better. If you keep this act up, I'm actually going to start to believe that you aren't Jack. He never acts like this. I'm sorry, you want to speak to Jack. I'll go get him. No, I like talking to you. I like your hat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It was nice meeting you. I hope to see you later. 
Me too. I'll go get Jack. Wait outside. Who is at the door? Rachel. What? What did you say to her? Nothing. I just introduced myself. I don't generally introduce myself to people I already know. She's probably confused out of her mind. She didn't seem to mind that much. Oh, you're gonna mess up everything for me. Mess up what? Our relationship. Oh, I will not. Let me back in control. I'm your evil twin. You shouldn't be too surprised if I mess up your life. Let me back in control. Relax. I'll let you back in. Let me explain. Where's your hat? It's not my hat. Okay. I want to explain everything to you, just not right now. There's something I need to do. Can you come back tomorrow? That's fine. When do you want me to be here? Seven would be good. We can have dinner together. That sounds great. See you then. How did that go? Whatever. That's not really an answer. Look, just leave me alone tonight and I'll figure out how to deal with you later. What's wrong with you? I didn't do anything to mess up your life. All you have to tell her is that you had a bad day and that you weren't yourself. You should just leave me and my life alone. Hey, I don't really have a choice here. Taking orders from that book of yours? You know, you're just a slave to that thing.
Hello. Thank you. Mm. Welcome. Wow. So, we've been together what? Two months now? Why is this the first time I'm in your house? I have my reasons. Ooh. But you're here now. I am. <laughs> oh. You've been in the country for a little while without any family, any friends. You are all alone. But I have you now. No. You are all alone. Jack, what are you doing? That was fast. I saw you! What? I saw you last night. You killed that girl and put her in the back of your car. How can you do such a thing? It was hard at first, but I got used to it after a while. What? You've done this before? Lots of times. Check out my notebook. All the black spots indicate kills. This is ridiculous! How am I supposed to be your evil twin? You're evil enough already! Exactly, and I don't need a good twin. So just stay out of my way tonight. Rachel's coming over. So you're gonna kill her too? Yes, I am. And I don't want you interfering. What just happened? Wow. I can't believe that worked. While you were in control, I took a look at that book of yours. It said, never to stand in the middle of two mirrors, one in front and one behind. Apparently, it forces you back into your world. Too bad. I thought it might kill you. You can't keep me in here forever. No. Just long enough for you to give up and leave me alone. Jack, you don't want to do this. Yes, actually, I do. Just let me back in. 
I can help you fix your psychotic lifestyle. I don't think so. Hello. Hi, Jack. Are you alright? Perfectly fine. What was that yesterday? I guess you could say I wasn't myself. Is it ever going to happen again? No. I've made sure of that. Too bad. Can I come in? After you. Come on. There must be at least one that he didn't cover. Why is this happening? I'm not ready for this! I'm no hero. I'm the opposite of hero. I'm just a pathetic, nameless reflection. I don't even know why I exist. How long have we been together? I think about four months. Amazing, isn't it? How you can truly know someone even after a short time. Like four months. I wouldn't really call it a short time, but yeah, it's kind of amazing. What was your life like before you met me? What? You were lost. No connections, no life. You were alone. I guess so, but why are you saying that? I want to tell you something. You are still alone. No one will even notice if you disappear. Jack, what are you doing? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> what the hell just happened here? <gasps> I don't know for sure. But the good news is, I don't think we'll be seeing him again. Who is he? What happened to him? He was nobody. 
Nobody at all. You saved my life. Thank you for that. My pleasure. You're wearing the hat. Who are you really? What's your name? I told you already, I don't have a name. But I guess you can call me Jack.